When an acyl chloride reacts with an amine, this mechanism is known as nucleophilic addition elimination reaction. Starting with ethanyl chloride. Two carbons and the acid functional group. The carbon is delta positive because there are two good electron withdrawing groups, oxygen and chlorine present. Position your amine so it can easily attack the carbon delta plus. Let's put our nitrogen there, hydrogen, hydrogen, and then a bond going to the C of the CH3 group. This molecule is known as methylamine. Methylamine has a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen. The lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen attack the carbon delta plus, releasing electrons from the double bond onto the oxygen. The CH3 remains unchanged. The carbon is present and there is a single bond to the oxygen which has a negative charge, which has an underlying pair of electrons. The Cl is unchanged. The nitrogen has used its lone pair of electrons to form the bond, therefore it gains a positive charge. Look carefully at this structure to see that the O- has a lone pair of electrons and the nitrogen has a positive charge because it's used its lone pair of electrons. At this point we need to drop off or eliminate HCl. And to do that, in comes another molecule of methylamine to act as a base. So there's our CH3NH2, and it's going to bond to the H with plus, which is formed when the pair of electrons from this bond goes on to the N+. Plus. The pair of electrons on the oxygen move back in to form the double bond, and the CCL bond breaks as the Cl- leaves. We can now redraw our products. So we've got CH3, C double bond O, because the electrons from the O- have gone back in to form the double bond. The nitrogen has lost one of the hydrogens, so it's now left with a CH3NH, and the methyl ammonium iron has formed and Cl- minus has formed. We can write the overall equation for this reaction starting with the ethanol chloride CH3COCl. Remember we used two molecules of methylamine CH3NH2. We form our product CH3CONHCH3 and also CH3NH3Cl. Let's check out the names of these products. So just drawing it out again so that we're happy with it. We've got our CH3CON. H C H three. So looking at this, we can see it's an acid derivative because we've got that special C double bond O and attached to it is an NH. So what we've got here is an acid amide, but it's a substituted acid amide. Let's have a look at it. We've got a methyl group bonded to the N, so it's an N-methyl ethan amide. The second methyl amine that attacked pulled off a proton because it was acting as a base, and the name of that product is called methyl ammonium chloride. 